So for left ventricular contrast, we of course open it, we have sonoview here, and you see there are several components. The components need to be individually unpacked. You have the sonoview per se, you have an adapter, and you have stereo fluid, and you attach the adapter, and you can see that you can open it. You're a bit too fast. Then you attach the fluid, and also The syringe then and you apply it and then you shake it so don't shake it too hard that already destroys some bubbles but with this you can create a nice solution of sonar view so for the overall situation then when it's all resolved you can see that there is no white left as soon as there is no white left it's ready to use if you let it stand you can shake a little bit so that all the solution is then ready to use for the usage you Take one milliliter, so you can choose in between half to approximately two, we always use one, and then simply apply it to a venous axis. You should then use the contrast on your IV axis, it basically doesn't matter where you use it. Overall, you should try to avoid any kind of filters, so when you have a filter beforehand, for example on our venous axis, when you give it from the top, then Probably some bubbles can be destroyed overall in the clinical routine. There must not be a too big difference where you actually apply it. So in this case, you can see then how the contrast actually reaches the right atrium, the right ventricle, and then the left atrium, and also the left ventricle.